The boating industry is experiencing record sales from Quebec to California and even in Europe, with sales starting out strong in warm weather states and then gathering a pace in other regions of the world during the summer. I'm Waterfront Gurus and this is our visit to the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show 2021, looking to understand what the fuss is all about and finding us a good starter boat. It's not hard to believe that people are more interested in boating now more than ever. Social distancing and changes in values have driven people to enjoy new types of leisure activities. Marinas and yacht repair companies are completely overwhelmed by the surge in interest. Where slips for boats are available for reservation, there are also waiting lists for them. According to a recent poll, more than 70% of boating dealerships were either entirely out of stock or had a low inventory of available boats, so we went to the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show to find that out. The pattern makes sense. People are looking for anything to do outside and a safe place to go during a time when the epidemic has heightened safety worries and reduced recreational activities. Oceans, lakes and ponds are great places for people to get away from their social lives while still having a good time doing it. The pandemic and its effects on the boating industry. As a result of Corona's related travel restrictions, more people are venturing out on the water close to home. According to the most recent available data from the National Marine Manufacturers Association, new boat sales ranging from saltwater fishing boats to yachts hit their highest level in a decade in May. Sales fell in March and April 2020 but quickly recovered following pandemic-related losses, according to the report. And sales continue throughout the summer. As per the Marine Retailers Association, 73% of boat dealers reported the retail increase in August. Demand was so high that 82% of dealers reported that new boat stock was too low in that month, and 89% reported that used boat stock was also low. That is consistent with the behavior observed by boat traders, a Miami-based online marketplace for new and old boats. Following a fall in April, sales began to increase in May and June and have continued to do so. Under 26-foot vessels and vessels in the 26 to 35-foot category have seen the most sales. Smaller personal watercraft sales, such as jet skis, are also surging, and these are the ones I'm interested in. So I went to the flips, mostly interested in a very specific type of boat. Inflatable boats, also known as dinghy or rib or tender boat, a dinghy refers to a small open boat, propelled by oars, paddles, or motors carried as a tender, lifeboat, or pleasure craft on a ship, while a rib, which stands for a rigid inflatable boat, is a lightweight but high performance and high capacity unsinkable boat that's constructed with a rigid hull bottom joined to side forming air tubes that are inflated with air. A sunny day at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Who doesn't love a good boat show? Loved by retirees, wealthy buyers, and families, Boat shows serve as a fun avenue into the world of boating. Whether you are looking to buy or not, the experience of wandering around docks, stepping down into the cabin of a luxury cruiser, and talking with fellow boaters is a joyous weekend activity. I saw all kinds of people at the boat show, from those looking to buy to those looking to socialize. The boat show is a great environment to learn more about boating and boats, surrounded by people who have dedicated their lives to their industry. Under the bright Florida sun, and it was cloudy that day, making it just perfect for a boat show. It doesn't matter where you have a penny to your name, the boat show offers a fun escape into the breezy life of boating. Six reasons why people are crazy about boating these days. An examination of the root causes may reveal that this is the right time to try a new lifestyle, or move to a larger or more powerful boat model. Number one, boating is the ultimate form of social distancing. After months of being isolated via Zoom chats and thousand different games, families are now ready to fly. Boating lets you feel the wind in your hair and sun on your maskless face. Social separation is likely to continue in the future. There's no safer place than on a boat with your loved ones. Number two, it's safer to be outdoors. Experts believe transmission rates in the outdoors are lower than indoors. Instead of sitting in a cinema where the climate control system can spread the virus, why don't you go outside to get cool air and vitamin D from sunlight? Both of these are hailed as being good for your health. There have been many scientific studies that show recreational boating has positive effects on your physical, mental, and emotional health. 
This activates what is known as the blue mind. Number three, very few options available. Among the activities that compete for leisure are large gatherings like concerts, professional sporting events, and amusement parks. These activities are either not as plentiful or have limited capacities, so they don't compete for a limited leisure time. Boating is becoming more popular. The activity allows you to expand your horizons and explore the world in a new way. For many, boating becomes a hobby and passion rather than a means of transportation. Number four, families are looking for activities close to their homes. Even though you may have planned a summer vacation that included a trip to Italy or a cruise on a ship for your honeymoon or even a week at Disney World, in the future it's likely that you'll be traveling less long distance and very little abroad. Boating on a kayak or a mini yacht gives you access to eat new activities for yourself and your family. Number five, the interest rates are an all-time low level. There isn't a better lending environment than the current one. Interest rates are at their lowest level in history, whether you're looking to get a loan for your home, car, or boat. Thanks to technological advances, you can now apply for loans online with very little or no interaction from your lender. Different trends in boating. Boats are available in a variety of sizes, forms, and price ranges. A new aluminum fishing boat with an outboard engine may cost as little as $8,000 to $10,000, whereas a 44-foot, 13-meter cruiser could cost as much as $900,000 or more. And the prices continue to rise from there. According to the Marine Industry Association, sales of new powerboats in the United States climbed by almost 12% in 2020, to more than 320 10,000 units compared to 2019. Powerboats accounted for half of last year's powerboat sales, with freshwater fishing and pontoon boats popular among the kinds of boats customers bought. A beginner's boat, the flex boat. I came to the Fort Lauderdale boat show with one particular boat in mind, the rigid inflatable boat, ribs. These boats offer a flexibility and ease that traditional fiberglass boats do not. A lot of families and individuals may want to start boating, but the sleep costs and commitment to a traditional boat may scare them off. Enter the flex boat or any ribs. Uh, it's a perfect solution for anyone looking for a little flexibility. I spoke to Roberto Cox from Flex Boat, who told me all about the benefits to inflatable boats. So, Roberto, um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So. If you can tell us a little bit, uh, how long has Flexboat been around? Flexboat is in the US for three years, but we have been in Brazil for 31 years, okay. since 1990. So we are baby still here, but we are already pretty mature in Brazil. So are you guys are specialized in inflatable boats? Flexboat is the number one inflatable boat company in Brazil forever. Okay. And yes, that's what we do. We use the best materials in the world, and we build a full line from small, tiny, seven foot long boats, a little bigger than me, up to a 38 footer. Okay. That was the latest release. And the line has about 30 models. Nice. With many variations. What do you think is the advantage of uh, inflatable boats or you know, rigid, rigid hull? Inflatables are very interesting and very smart. They were born as a utility boat, as something just be a tender, to be a work boat, because they are very practical, convenient, and safe. So we were service oriented in the beginning. But then people became smarter, I would say, and started putting some style on the boats, like this one you can see here. And the boats become slowly accepted by people to be their, their own boat. I have one boat, the boats for, for you know, sightseeing with my family skiing with some sports and this boat is by the way inflatable yep. and of course we are talking about ribs which is rigid inflatable boats with the roof on the best bottom okay so navigation is perfect great symmetry and the inflatable tiers to give you all the safety and the comfort and some additional great features that just a fabulous boat doesn't have nice so my last question would be so with the you know the supply chain shortage that's happening, are you guys seeing that as well when it comes to? We are, the whole world is a little complicated, but a couple of things, Flex Boat is pretty vertical in terms of its production. So we build as much as we can in-house, which is great. Even though we depend on the fabric that comes from France, some things are important, but just a plan ahead of time. So long story short, 
our delivery is one or two months off what it has user been. Okay. So we can have new boats arriving in four or five months, not more than that. And I know some competitors are way longer than that. Nice. And uh, how many of these, the 450 especially, how many of these have you sold in South Florida? Not many. Oh, they started coming here a year and a half ago. But I would say there are five or six already running around. I think this is the perfect boat for South Florida. It is. I think it's uh, easy to transport. Like you said, yeah, you don't have to worry about, you know, hitting the docks. You know, it's very safe. It's very, um, I'd say, it's easy to deal with. And this boat has many cool features. For example, this thing in the top, you fold it and you hide it underneath this piece. This piece raises here. It's hinged on the back. So you fold it deep in the top, it just disappears under here, which awesome. is a very exclusive feature. Awesome. And there are some other cool details in the boat. Cool. Hey, thank you, Roberto. Thanks for talking to us today and uh, wish you guys you know, a lot of success in this year's very much. Uh, flips. Thank you. Flexboat has been around since 1990, was founded in Brazil and recently in the USA. Flexboat uses the best materials in the world to make inflatable boats from 7 foot to 30 foot long. Inflatables are very practical with a history of being tenders, work boats and lifeboats. Now companies like Flexboats have upgraded the inflatable boats from a dinghy to a legitimate leisure boat option. The flex boat offers durability, versatility, safety, and performance, perfect for anyone interested in boating. The main selling points of these boats is their safety. Inflatable boats like the flex boat do not sink. They are highly maneuverable, even in shallow waters, meaning they are great for hobbyist boaters who don't live near deep waters. Flex boats are highly transportable, meaning you can hitch them to the back of your car and plop them in the water, whatever body or water you wish to enjoy. Inflatable boats are perfect for anyone. Flex boats are used not just by families, but by military and police forces. The design of the tubes means navigating is easier for the driver and more comfortable and stable for the passengers. They are not just for cruising. Feel free to fish, dive or water ski with them. These are high quality boats that can last 15 years, great for beginners and veteran boats alike. If you're interested in buying a flex boat rib, look them up online. And while there's no shortage for inflatable boats, Larger vessels are seeing production line shortages due to high demand. The severity of the situation for boat shortages. Several boat merchants are working to meet their order backlog for the year ahead. Many social distancing measures are projected to remain in place for the foreseeable future in many parts of the country, resulting in individuals continuing to social distance and if you own a boat as a means of securely enjoying the outdoors, particularly during the more temperate months of the year. According to some people, before the pandemic, people had to wait four to six weeks to purchase a boat. Previously, it was stated that purchases might expect to wait up to eight months for their yacht. Is it a good time to go boating? According to the top 10 searches conducted on an online platform, it appears that the interest in Southern Florida and the Canary Islands has been steadily rising over the first three months of 2021. Interest in other US destinations such as Texas, Charleston and Chicago has recently risen in the summer with, you know, what we call the post-pandemic summer. Bookings in Miami for rental boats have nearly doubled over the past four months and they are nearly twice of all of 2020. Due to party and pontoon boats popularity, travelers tend to book everything from luxury yacht charters to day trips in party and pontoon boats. The most famous islands of the Florida Keys have seen a rise in visitors for both land and water-based travel. Bookings have increased eight times, with a rental period of three times, three days on board. For people traveling to the area, catamarans are a nice choice. People have gone crazy indoors, and boating has become a door to escape pandemic and depression as well. Whether you buy or rent, going out on the water can reinvigorate your senses. Get close to nature and enjoy the outdoors. It's fun for families, friends, and individuals. A different setting for social gatherings. So it's time to plan a boating trip and relax your body, mind, and soul. That's it for our visit to the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, comment down below if you like this content. Leave us a like and uh, let us know which other content you would like to see here at Waterfront Gurus. I'm Max and I'm out.